Hi guys, good morning from my channel to my lovely audience at YouTube. Today I'm gonna make this coconut tacos cake. Uh, this is a very popular fika cake eaten in Sweden, in most cafe, and today I'm gonna show you how to do it. I, in fact, I did make once but without the chocolate flavors. So I'm gonna show you today the chocolate version. So it's really sunny here. I hope you guys can see. I'll try my best to zoom in. Uh, first of all, let me just uh, tell you guys what are the things that we need. Uh, we need quite a bit of sugar, unfortunately. And I know this Swedish, um, they really like sweet stuff. So it eggs. Six cups of small deciliter of um, sugar. So the p amount that I'm making is actually for making a cafe style. So we are going to be selling this in the cafe 1st of July. Uh, so the portion that I'm making is double of the one that you've seen in the video description, the recipes. So you don't really need to make a lot. So you just cut off. In fact, I already give you one portion of the cake that is um, that is in this but except that you see that this is all in double size so eggs sugar coconut don't worry about the portion the portion is in the in the description baking powder vanilla powder if you don't have vanilla powder you can use uh, vanilla accents uh, and plain flour this is for the cakes mixture and I also have another mixture which I'm going to show you on later. So you have to watch until the end, all right? So the cake will be this uh, live streaming. First of all, I will make the cake. Hopefully, it will take about 5-10 minutes or maybe 10 or 15 minutes to 15 minutes or so. We put in the oven and then while that cake is cooking, I'm going to show you how to make the toppings. And then when the cake is cooking halfway, we're going to pour the toppings over and bake it again for another 10 minutes. So I would think this rice trimming should be around 40 to 45 minutes. Hopefully it will be slow, low, uh, faster. All right. So without any delay, I want to welcome you guys. My name is Esty and I am creating videos for food. Uh, usually they are very healthy recipes but today uh, is exceptional because I'm at my job we make a uh, fika or cakes and bread for our visitors and the sweet likes so to me this is kind of unhealthy but you know they like it so but let's start off with the baking so let me bring you guys closer so you can see the thing I'm using an electrolux uh, anchor room this is my favorite uh, machine so if you guys are interested I will try to include the link so that you can order them at Amazon I'm using the one for the kicks mixture it's really very simple to use so what you just do is you install this thing uh, this is a very heavy duty plastic and then you have this bowl I have two of this bowl I bought one extra which I think is a really good investment uh, and then the beater come in two uh, balloon and it sits on top and you can also top all your ingredients from the top which is awesome I love it so first with the egg we're gonna beat the egg into with the sugar and um, my concern is because it is so much sugar I'm not going to pour everything all at once I'm just going to pour half of it first so that it's easier you see it's so convenient right so let me just pour half of this first and then I'm going to start with this okay.
Just off this machine for a while. All right. Oh, it's zooming not properly. <sighs> what happened? What happened now? <laughs> Guys, this is driving me nuts. Okay. Oh, I don't know why this is not aiming. Okay, guys, I have to do it like this. I don't know why YouTube, the video is not doing so well. So I am trying to, I, I thought I want to make this the mixture while the cake is beating. So it seems like uh, I can't flip the camera. As you can see, it's so blur. You see, I don't know why. Ooh, I tried to shake it and it doesn't work. Anyway, let me just... Uh, explain to you why um i actually want to make the, the feelings but now since let me just see the inside yeah mm, we need to beat it another one more 
unfortunate. by the flour so the butter in and then I'm going to beat it slowly can see it yeah. can see right okay i'm gonna pour them into this tea remove this one first And then I'm going to pour them onto this thing, half of this in here. It's kind of difficult to, to see how much is half sometimes. So I'm just going to try my best to spread this out. Cake obviously feels like it's quite thick. This is a very thick cake. The other half. I'm not done with this one yet. I just want to feel the proportion and how thick it is. It feels to me like this is kind of thick, very thick thick. It's kind of rich. Okay. If you guys are wondering what is that tuk, 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 the sound, actually, actually there are a group of teachers just sitting outside here. They were trying to crush some ice 
from the some for some project. Uh, the school is closing soon, so they always organize a lot of events for the school children before they go for the summer holiday. So they are using this park quite a lot. Uh, in fact, outside my job place, there is a park where they could utilize which is really good because the kids get to go out to the nature instead of just sitting in the classroom. So boring, right? So in Sweden, the class is uh, uh, quite interesting, I find. They always find opportunity to bring the kids out to the forest, to the nature, to experiment the, the forest which is really good so I think this is okay I'm just going to let this sit settle down a little bit okay I'm going to do the other one I really need to have some patience la by the way guys, I, I've been feeling quite down lately because uh, something happened, terrible happened. Uh, I don't know if I want to share with you my experience. But I just felt like sometimes we need to talk to get our heart out a bit. Uh, my daughter has been uh, experimenting uh, some breakups lately. And I'm a kind of peace and a little bit angry because I trusted this guy with my daughter. And, you know, he's being a, he's being a jerk. So, I'm really peace because, you know, people that you really trusted them and they dis disappoint you. They promise you everything you're gonna make your daughter happy and at the end they just say oh we just don't we just don't meet our needs you know and we have to go separate way so for me i think that my daughter is the world most most finest girl you can ever find she's pretty she's smart She's kind. Most importantly, she's kind. She's too kind. People take advantage of her. And I try to teach her not to be, you know, too kind. Because it doesn't lead you to anywhere if you are being too kind. Of course, kind always have come, up, come back with the karma, right? So, for me, I'm not so worried about that for her. Because she will be forever herself being kind. And he will be forever him, himself, being mean. So, I really don't bother because it just really pissed me off. Because it's like, you know, people are stepping your back. I felt like that. And he was mistreating my daughter. He didn't really, was kind to her. And she just couldn't handle the guilty because the thing, the stupid thing that he had done to my daughter and he couldn't handle the guilt. So, you know, I told her, I said, in fact, I knew all the time that, you know, they will not have a good relationship because uh, I know for the first day, day one, he's a spoiled brat. But, you know, I try to be supportive to her because I want to make sure that uh, she, I have to respect her choice, that she want to make the choice to being with her. So as a parent, we have to support our children, right? No matter what. So, you know, he has a, a lot of issues, not just being unkind and very inconsiderate, childish. Uh, immature I call that not childish but immature and he can't handle people being uh, being a couple you know if you are a couple you have to accept that you are a couple and you have to take 
responsibility of being a couple. You don't behave like a teenager. You go out with your friends and, you know, if your girlfriend asks you, what time are you coming back? She can't sleep in the middle of the night. You have to come home. No matter what, you know, you can't go out like few days with your friend getting drunk in another city. Who knows what he's doing, right? And my, my daughter is just sitting at home and waiting and working. She's been working her ass off with her as a nurse and, you know, uh, trying to put this family together. He She worked her ass off. She worked very long hour, very heavy job. She's very responsible. She take care of old people. And he is just, you know, working as a factory worker, doing some kind of technical work. And he needs his time off to go out with his friend. And and of course, he knows, he knows it himself that he's doing something wrong. And he cannot face the guilt. And therefore, he say, oh, you know, Oh, you are being too nosy. I don't want you to control me. He felt like she was controlling her, uh, controlling him, which is ridiculous. You know, my daughter, she has me, and we don't really have to control him. My daughter is actually the most flexible person. She just felt lonely sometimes because of him. All her friends thought to stop contacting her, and therefore she felt lonely. And of course, being lonely as a boyfriend, you must be there to support her. Not just going out with your friend as when you like it, how many times, for a few days, never come home. And when she call and ask you, just asking a question, right? Just asking, what time are you coming home, darling? I'm lonely. I Can you come home so that, you know? She never even said, can you come home? She was just asking, what time are you coming home? And therefore, she got peace with her and, you know, she's, he decided to, to quit the relationship. How ridiculous is that, right? That makes me really angry because, you know, I could never ever put up with a man or a guy that tell me, you know, I can't call him when I meet him because then if this is a case this is not the man that can provide you and can take care of you and can understand you and can you know he's very selfish very extremely selfish that's why i call him a brat because he thinks that he's all that he thinks that he has the look he thinks he has you know the money and therefore he wants a woman that can that he can dominate and don't ask him question and he can go out with his friend like few days and the girlfriend has no right to even ask him I will tell him to F.O. you know because I will never accept that and I can imagine my daughter has been putting up with that shit for like three years coming to three years now and she's being like, she didn't tell us. So I'm really angry too because she's been taking all this shit all this time. And until lately, she revealed that she's been treating her like this. And I said, no, this is not the way you want to live your life. You, This man do not know how to love you. This guy left another girl before my daughter in a short period of time just being just you know dumb that girl and being with my daughter all right so my daughter didn't tell me until lately and i know okay i knew it just recently you know if a guy can dump another girl to be with another girl this guy has a bad habit obviously he something is wrong up there so, I wasn't in a mood to this few days. I'm going to put up the oven 200, and 200 degrees and I'm going to bake this for about 15 minutes. Okay? So, uh, I'm so sorry guys. This is supposed to be a, a happy...
So I'm melting the butter in a pan. So I want this to melt completely. Uh, the recipe I'm going to show you, don't worry. I'm going to take this step by step. So I just hope that you guys can understand. I wanted to very much to schedule my live streaming to, you know, sometimes I just can't. And I've been trying to coach her, you know, she, we can fight this. This is a like a war we can fight. Everything in life, you know, is a challenge. It has to have these ups and downs. Like, ups and downs, it means that you're alive. You know, if the life is you're dead. Yeah? So, life is ups and downs. That makes it very, very interesting. So, I always teach my, my daughter that, you know, if somebody treats you, you know, try to reconcile, if people are stepping your back, you know, don't even look back. Just move forward and, you know, don't waste time on people like that. So, I've been coaching her to be a fighter from a baby when she was born to a small little girl. Stand up, fall down. I don't pick her up. I let her sit by herself, stand up by herself. And you see from a very a baby to a little girl to a teenager and now she's turning to a woman. They do not want they do not know what they want in their life. So it's really difficult. So it's really difficult for her at this time because she had planned her life. She had bought the apartment then together and she had built the house, uh, she had built the apartment, you know, with her own hand. That guy doesn't really bother. She only want to play his damn computer game all day, sit there and be served and being a brat. So he can go and have his father taking care of him, all right? He can move back to his apartment and let his father taking care of his shit. And I don't care. I Seriously, I don't care about that. Because I gave them, I gave him a chance to be nice to her. Okay, now the butter is melting. I'm going to add some uh, plain flour. So if you guys look at my recipe, it's slightly different the one on the topping. You can follow the one or you can follow this one, alright? The obviously it will be clump. Okay, yep, now the flour is very smooth. You can see it's smooth. Let me get on the light. It's smooth like this from the flour. Okay, and then now you want to add the, you add the butter, you add the flour. Now you want to add the sugar. Alright, the sugar go in. And here we have some uh, light syrup. So if you guys have a daughter who is being bullied by the boyfriend, the husband, the lover, whatever, or you yourself is in the same situation, girls, and most of my audience, 65.9% is all and above. You guys, if you have a boyfriend who doesn't treat you well, this is the time where you have to think, all right? You don't deserve that because... You deserve people who know how to love you and respect you. Okay, there's the sugar. So what I want to put is a little bit of salt. Okay, I want a bit of salt on this. Otherwise, it becomes very sweet. Just a bit of salt. And then I want to pour in my coconut. This grated coconut. These are dried coconut. So I'm going to heat up this a bit. So as you can see, it's a kind of thick here. So this is the consistent you want. And now you pour in the coconut. About 150 gram, but this is 300. It's double the amount. Just mix them together like this. 
like into a big lump. Okay, now I'm off this thing. I'm so, so sad. How could people do things like that to other people? So if you are in a relationship that you are not being respected, Okay, guys, leave. If you have the opportunity, it's very important for you to seek help from people, from your friends. And I'm so glad that my my daughter, she has some, just one or two friends that are really kind and nice and very careful and very uh, love her very much. You know, she's a wonderful girl. And she definitely deserves better. So I'm going to just remove all this. These are all the bowls from my baking. So I'll just remove all this first. Yeah. And then I'm going to pull up the two chocolate cake. The chocolate cake is uh, still baking. As you can see, number one, number two is baking still. So give them another five ten minutes while I can chat with you at this time. Um, you want to make sure that they are easy to spread to. Mm, very good. Hardship is a time when you will see. Um, the real true love from your family, from your friends. And I didn't have the support when I first moved to Sweden. You know, I have to take care of all of the shit by myself. I have nobody to talk to. I have nobody to, for support. I can't speak the Swedish language. I have no job. I have not even a phone call that I could make lucky and i don't want girls to reach out you know if you are in trouble you know it's very very important that you talk to the people who cares for you and the people who care for you are the one in your family not necessary all of them will care for you but you know find somebody that you can find comfort in and tell people how you feel you don't have to take everything by yourself you know it's it's out there and um you really have to put yourself together if you are in this situation where your boyfriend disrespect you, don't give you a damn, you know, you you will feel lost. For sure you feel lost. Um, you need to get your heart out, reach out for people, to for you to heal because, you know, you plan a life together and suddenly all this is gone. And it's devastating. I can tell you, for twenty-one years old girl living by herself in an apartment, and she has to pay rent, and she has a job that she loves. She just loves helping people, and you know she's trying to cope with all this. It's not that easy. So I'm trying my best as a mom to 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 coach her to be strong, because that's my job to do that. All right, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try because I never give up on anything. Never. I'm going to spread the cake out here, wipe the table, so that I can do this away from the oven. It's quite warm to stand there. You know, if you break somebody's heart, you know, you know, whatever comes around will go around. And so one day, somebody will break your heart. This is called karma. And um, nobody get away alive. <laughs> I'm not saying 
mean I'm gonna kill him or what? Of course I feel like killing him, but then you know I'm not that stupid. It's not worth me even worrying for him or you know being angry. I think that time is over. And what my daughter need now is my fullest support. It's really hard. It's really hard. It's just like your heart is being broken into millions of pieces and you cannot fix it. You try to fix it, but you can't. It's very difficult. It's so difficult to do that. But we'll try, all right, you guys? Support my channel. I hope you guys can share my videos, share my passion about life. I'm not just a person who just know how to cook uh, or share my recipes. I'm also a real person that I have feelings. I have, um, I have uh, passion I, about life. I try to live a peaceful, meaningful life and I wanted to share this with you guys. And I hope that my strength will motivate or inspire some of you guys. And being in being a single mom, a person living in another country whereby you know your support is limited, you have to be strong. You have no choice but to be strong. So I've been doing that for the past 21 years. I don't really care about what other people think. I never give up. I just keep fighting and I fight for happiness. Happiness is always the first place. I always teach my daughter, if you're not happy, you have to walk away because it's no point building something you try. I'm not saying teaching her to give up. She had been trying this relationship for so many months, all right? Okay, guys, I hope that, huh, I don't know what are these people doing outside. They're trying to make ice cream outside. Okay, there are kids outside. I don't want to film it because I don't like to get YouTube coming and tell me, hey, you know, you cannot film kids. So I'm not going to show you guys because there are a lot of teenagers outside my workplace and they are make, trying to make ice cream in the sun. So I'm going to just put up the cake and see if I can uh, spread the coconut on top and continue to bake them. Alright, so let me just take one out and see. Okay, still not ready yet. But I don't want to I don't want to bake this. I don't want to put them on top because inside is still soft and if this is too heavy, the it will flatten the cake. So make sure that your cake is at least 80 to 90 percent ready before you pull it out. Let me get my tea. And I'm going to tell you, share with you guys uh, with some updates what I have been through this one week. Obviously, it has been hell. But we are in the recovering stage, in a healing stage, whereby we try to pick up. I don't know whether you guys pick up my energy on my last two live streaming. I was really down. I just don't want to be affecting you guys. But I want you guys to also be inspired by learning that, you know, 
if a relationship fails, if your heart is broken, this is where you are put into the battle to fight. You cannot just let this sadness sink into you and let it destroy you and eat you up. No, you have to fight it out. You have to do something that you really enjoy and makes you happy. And I notice very important is the self-development as a person. Not just going out with your friends, your family, keeping yourself busy. That is only a temporary healing. What you need to do is to identify what you can develop, like to grow as a person, so that you will find that, you know, the light, you are letting the light shining back into your life, that you are able to grow again as a person. And I think we all must learn to do that. It's not easy, I can tell you. It's not easy, but it is possible. I did that. It took me like years to do that, and I feel like such a waste of time to be sad. And I'm over that. I'm, I know myself, and being a person who is experienced in, in broken heart, you know, I know that. This is not easy. This is going to take some time. And again, it is my choice to decide when I'm going to let this go away and heal. I decide. I know it's not easy, but I'm going to minimize the pain as possible and try to put my life back again so that I could live a happy life that I deserve. The same with all of you. All of us deserve a happy life. So I'm going to just mix this. This one look like uh, I don't think so. I, I think I need some more milk. A little bit more milk will be good. to spread guys okay so I add a little bit of milk into this one so it's easier to spread out a little bit more don't let heartbroken breaks you all right not your heart can be broken, but you cannot be broken, all right? You cannot be broken. You cannot let that break you. I never have any doubt for people. I always believe that. You know, always we have to listen to both sides. I'm sure he has his reason. You know, and I think his only reason for breaking my daughter's heart is because he, she has seen her suffer this because of his childish, immature behavior. And she he can sense that it's not uh, it's not right for her and that she is suffering and she cannot deal with that guilt. And therefore, he gave up. And I'm so glad that he gave up. I just hope that he don't come back. <laughs> Seriously. I'm only worried that he will come back because my daughter is really very kind, very sweet. You know, I'm just worried that he, she might be too soft-hearted and will come back. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take out one of the cake now. I think it should be ready by now. Okay. I think I'll take the top one. Oh, the smoke is terrible. Seriously, it's not fully baked yet. I'm going to try uh, and see this from the top. The bottom one, I'll just let it cook another one more. 
Okay, guys, this is how the cake looks like on top. Uh, I poked through, still a little bit wet. But I don't want the cake to... When a person make you sad, don't never revenge, all right? Never ever do that because it will do you no good. Let the nature take care of themselves, all right? Because I always feel like you know we there is a cost for all this. The person cannot just leave you for with no reason. All right, there, there is, there always is a reason that why the relationship is not working. Uh, maybe she just felt so depressed and she needs a boyfriend that is there for her and just to run. So I'm just going to spread this out like this a bit. I don't know whether you... Nothing, you no. Know, she always suffer by herself in the dark because she is afraid that people might worry for her, talk that much. Seriously, I really pity her. So I, my my job is to train her. You bet, right? Your kind. It's very natural that people will notice that and people will not do bad things to you because you're so kind but sometimes bad things do happen to the oven for another 10 minutes more you just cook it further and i'm gonna take out the other one okay you just put it back and now Okay, so spread this out. Teacher, being a teacher cannot be easy either. I see the teachers like trying to scream at the teenager at the top of his voice. <laughs> but I think teenager here, uh, they are quite uh, okay. Yeah, compared to, I'm not saying other country. I'm saying, same TV. I think Swedish kids, no matter how, are still okay. They are not that bad kids. <laughs> and I like to work with teenagers, you know the cafe that we are working, uh, I am going to have six teenagers working with me to this year, so a lot of training needed and I'm going to be training 
two of them to be the manager of the cafe so i just hope that they are uh, a useful uh, tools for me because i want to i just enjoy watching teenagers grow you know giving them the opportunity as much opportunity as possible to see how they grow and progress is really is very challenging i think i just love to see that they are developing as an adult and taking the responsibility and learning and wanting to you know be a, be responsible for things okay this is done guys so i'm going to put this again in the oven and this is going to be baking for another 10 minutes this time i'm just going to continue to bake this until the top go go brown go golden Let me just bring you guys to this part. This is very easy to show you guys. I should wash our dishes because we have a good chat. And uh, see if I can do uh, some work here. I don't know if I want to make any more cookies. Maybe I'll make uh, another type of cookie. And I just hope that we can wash this one first in the washing machine because I wanted to do another cookie. I wanted to do another cake. So I probably will be logging up from here. And uh, when I decide what cake I'm going to make, I'm going to go back onto the live stream and carry and uh, do another live stream. Okay. Obviously, I'll try, I'll try and make some cakes today so that we have enough to sell. At least for the first two weeks of our cafe. I must well put everything into the into the machine, all right? So this is a perfect machine for me. It's so good. It's just wash for 15 minutes maximum and fast, it's clean. It's so good to use. I just love it. So without the washing machine, I will be I will be broken hearted. For sure. So you have to have a washing machine at home. Everybody has to, all right? All your women, if you don't have one, brag about that with your husband. Say, you got to fix me a washing machine, otherwise I'll divorce you. <laughs> okay, so let me just put everything here. And then I will come back with one wash. Oh, we still have pots and pans here. See if I can put this one. Okay, now I just put it in and then I'm gonna put the powder. And just wash this one time. We have a program that is 11 minutes, but I don't use that because we have plenty of time for me to just mm. very easy. Four step first one on off, second decide, and then third knee just is done. Then 11 minutes. This dish is all done. It's very convenient, right? So let me just sit here. You see, all the dishes is all gone. 
that is one helpful machine. I'm going to wash the tips because this is really really good for you to uh, dip. So if you don't have this, you can use a toothpick too if you don't have. So you have to dip this in the cake and see if it's done or not. Usually you don't want it to be too dry. Because when it is too dry, it's not nice. So what, uh, usually like this, a small cake like this, we will sell about 20 crown. 20 crown, which is... Uh, Oh, they are having ice cream outside. Hmm. I should have went out and see how they do the ice cream. Eh? The teacher was doing ice cream for the kids. So that it's baked on top and it's, you know, it's uh, cooked underneath too. Because just now, it was only about 80% cooked. So we put the chocolate on, uh, we put the coconut on top and they're going to continue to cook for another 10 minutes. And when that is done, I'm going to take it out and show you. So you cannot cut the cake uh, when it is hot you have to wait for it to cool down completely before you cut them so you can make this in advance uh, make sure you wait until it's cool down and cut them you cut them into pieces and then you put them into this uh, plastic container layer with paper so that it will not stick on top of each other so usually I like to make this one. Uh, later I'm thinking of making another cake. So I will probably do another live streaming. And I hope you guys can join me, okay? But uh, we're gonna wait for this one to finish so you see how the result looks like and how much we should uh, we should oven, put them in the oven and how it should look at the end. So some updates guys, um, I'm in the process of creating, um, I'm in the process, oh look at my hair, I'm in the process of creating my, let me just put you guys like that so you can see me. I'm in the process of um, making um, a 7 days retreats uh, starting from 1st of August. It's not possible for me to do retreats in July because July can be quite hot to be in the forest so uh, first of August is the best time so I'm going to do a retreat and I want you guys to tell me what you guys like in a retreat uh, right now I'm going to try by the end of this week I am going to do a video to show my viewers what to expect in this seven days retreat and I hope I can put all the images into one video so you can see okay from day one when you arrive at the airport we pick you up you check into the hotel uh, what kind of event if it's too late maybe we'll just have a simple snacks or maybe a late lunch, a dinner and then we'll just show you around the area because that is where you know you will be amazed uh, Sweden is a magical country it doesn't turn dark you know until about quite late midnight especially in August it's really magical it's a bit 
slightly cold which is perfect because you don't want to be too hot in the forest so August to me I find is the best time to be in the forest and that is where you know the harvesting starts where you could harvest mushrooms you can harvest berries and we could cook everything together in this wonderful kitchen yeah so my first day ideally is some that you know will check in and then we all will settle down and I'll sh do some uh, sightseeing around the area and keep you guys informed like yeah, if you are going to have your free time what you can do because we cannot be accompanying you the whole day you must have your own free time to explore this country yourself uh, so that you feel like hmm you know I'm good I could do this I could do this by myself so second days we will start to forage we will have a breakfast together we probably will eat something that we forage together uh, or i forage together and i'll put them in the breakfast uh, and then you can uh, enjoy this with us we will all sit together like a family and have breakfast together and after that we will you know clean up and we will uh, sit together and discuss where we are going to forage and what kind of food is available for foraging and we will change clothes and rest a while and then we will set off while you are resting i'll prepare the lunch to bring and then we'll go up to the forest to forage this is what i have in mind and then when we come back uh, we will uh, collect all the food together and if you like to bring the food that you co collected you know you can have your own uh, tools you can have your own bags where you want to dry them so i will teach you different techniques to dry them how to preserve them uh, and then you know the rest we will make the food together and we will share like eating in a family we will cook together and eat of course so it's like a cooking class and it's also like a family style um, eating together so we get to know new people new friends with the same interests as you okay let me just check my cake yeah it's done oh it's done the top one is done I don't want to burn it. Okay, perfect. The second one, let me just off the oven. The second one is also done. Let me just off the stove. Okay. Okay. So let me just take this hook thing and poke it and see where is it. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's done and it's done. Both sides. You see, it's clean. Okay, guys, take a look. I, let me see if I can change. You see, it's blur. I don't know why. Okay. It's supposed to be looking like this. And this one is slightly brown. It's nice. Some people, they like a little bit burn. And somebody, this is perfect actually. Slightly brown on top. Okay, you want to wait until this is completely cooled down, and then uh, you cut them with a sharp knife. You wash your knife, or you put the knife with some oil or butter, and then you slice it. It's much easier with the sharper knife and with the oil knife. Then when you cut them. Put them, arrange them separately. It's just a half centimeter apart so that they will not stick together. And then you just freeze them. Okay, so guys, if you want to continue to listen to my second part of my itinerary uh, for my seven days retreat, don't forget to check out my video again later on. I'm going to do another cake and chit chat with you and tell you more information about the itineraries. All right. So guys, have a nice day. Enjoy your day today at work, wherever you are. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And I hope you enjoy being with us. And I hope to 